This is Peter, also known as DeathGiver23. This is a quick tutorial on bricks. Today I'm going to be showing how to use bricks in Roblox. Now, not this kind of brick, not just a mesh brick, but bricks itself. Bricks in a real context, and bricks in also in a Roblox context. Now, I don't see these used a lot, primarily because they're very part tedious. They can get pretty, turn out to a lot of bricks pretty quick, as shown here. That's already about 12 parts, and it's pretty, pretty big, so where do you go? Oh, there we go. It's a pretty big section there. These things can be really party, but it's worth it. It has a really nice effect. So when you're using bricks, you want to use colors that work well together, such as these three. Sand red, medium stone, dark stone gray. They work really well together. This is a primary uh, selection of colors they use, but I'm sure there are other good ones. And you can just use bricks of the same color, but a little bit of variation doesn't hurt. So there's a, lot, a bunch of common brick patterns. Let me get my tools here. Several common brick patterns. And to be honest, there's not a lot of brick patterns. You can do little squares like these. What's usually done is a little weave like this. You can do a zigzag. That. that can get bigger and you can space it out. Or you can just do straight up bricks. Which doesn't usually look very good, but it'll do, I guess. Alright, so the primary use of bricks is in walls, or little pillar beginnings, stuff like that. So, if you do this with bricks, it'll usually turn out pretty well. And if you're gonna add doors or anything, you need to modify it a little bit, but for squares, this will work perfectly. So, you wanna start by making a square with your bricks, try to vary the color a little. Make sure these are equal distance so it won't work. Okay. Now take a brick and shift one, one over there, like that. So there's two studs. Copy it. Let's forget that. So now let's keep doing it. That. This should fit together perfectly. In fact, it will. Now, to make something like the beginning of a pillar, what you want to do is you want to rotate that like that. Or you can just do it with all my hand, but it's a little quicker like this. Recall it under that. Like that. And maybe cut it off. That one sticks out. If you do it with bricks, it looks a little bad. Like that. Maybe make a little pillow coming up like that. Maybe not. That's what I'm gonna do. Make it quick. It's pretty bad, I'm sorry. So the C frame resize to Y to Y to 6.4. That looks pretty good. Looks better with logs and stuff like that, but <coughs> it'll do for now. Other uses for bricks are on the bottoms of walls. They're good for foundations. So stuff like this. Take that, up a little brick wall. Now, before I continue, I want to know something. If you make a wall like this, and you're just going to plan to keep it like that, obviously it's not going to stay like that. So you just put something like this, take a resize tool, put it in half, so that works. Okay. And from there, take something like this. You can put whatever you want on top of it, I'm just going to put wood up in this case. That looks pretty good. Now, you may notice something. With bevels on, you can actually make mortar. There's no mortar in this. A lot of people ask, how do you make mortar like that? Well, there's two ways of doing it. Get a bit lighter. I'm going to use command utility here because it's really easy. 
R really close to there. That's far. Oh, it's closer. Maybe make that like 0.97, maybe. It's a little 0.99, but I like a little spacing. Still there? Oh, wait, no, I know why. Like that. Shadow it up, cross. And bam, we got mortar. Now, if you're not on bevels on, you really cannot make mortar with bricks. So. If someone in the description of their place puts do not turn bevels on, turn bevels on, it's probably fault in the description. I think they're by going tools, settings, ignore that. And go into bevels is in here somewhere, right? Uh, turn bevels on or off. You really should keep them on, but you turn them off you get a little bit better quality but it doesn't look like this at all it looks more like this which is okay i guess but well that's what blocking is for after all so it's not only one color of mortar you can do different colors like dark gray looks all right black looks okay maybe uh this color but whatever your style of building is if you're going to dark place maybe you can do that Doing a fantasy place, maybe with a different color like this. It really depends on your opinion. Uh, let's see. Another use of bricks, or another cool part of bricks, is you can make rubble with them. It's pretty easy to destruct bricks. Add this for a minute. It's pretty easy to destruct them, and you can make some pretty cool effects. So I'm gonna take this. Just for the sake of showing you how to make some quirky little effects here. Okay? Now, <coughs> if you always do this, you can either A, just take the bricks out, put them down, take your take your C-frame tool, spread them out, make them look good, you know, make a little pile of rubble there. Or, it's my personal favorite, put those bricks all back in. Take the bricks again, get them anchored, just kind of push them back. Looks pretty good. Out of the way. Maybe attach them to your face and just push those out like that. Or, um, hmm, what do you do? Usually it's a little bit more clean, they'll push out more even though. Like that, you can imagine something like a cannonball just coming through here, hitting this brick. That's another way to do it. <coughs> or if you don't want to do that, just make the hole as it is. Make a little pile of bricks here. Try to vary the colors. Looks nice. See, so yeah, that looks a little bit better, even though the brick amount's not quite accurate with one fit into that hole once you see frame them in. You get the point. Okay. Another great part about bricks is inlays. Now you may think, what's an inlay? Well, I'll show you what an inlay is. An inlay is something like this. It's good for floors, walls, anything really. Inlays just add a little bit of detail. So, say you want something like this. Uh, let's take this instead. This is this is generally a good brick texture. It's not too complicated. It always fits in where it's supposed to fit in. Looks nice. Okay. What's going on? All right, now it's on the axis. On the grid, rather. 
finish up the rest of this wall real quick. Now I get that. Now for the sake of keeping these separated, just keep that. Maybe lock it. That'll make it a little bit easier to unlock in a minute. Group those. And it's a lot easier with command utility. I'll hear uh, one of my peers will do a video later on command utility. So you can move it again, do the same 0.97, or you can do 0 0.5 or 0 0.1. Uh, that's 0.97. Click that. And that looks pretty good. Put this into walls anywhere. Put a little coat hanger on there or something. Look really nice. Especially in varying something like a block mesh place. A lot of modern architecture in Roblox. Like, modern, modern, like, in terms of Roblox modern. <coughs> so using these block meshes. A little bit of classic bevels in there. Pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what else is there to cover? Ruined brick, covered mortar. Um, oh, I'll do a quick little thing on how to. This will be my last thing. A quick little thing on how to do, say, circles with bricks. Because that can be kind of difficult. Now, you need to use a circle script. Or you can use something that looks equally as good, and it's a little less party, I think. And it's using command utility, so if you don't have command utility, I'm using command utility version 3. I'm sure the latest one does this too, but I just like v3, it's easy to use. <coughs> Take this, group it, like that. It should, these should be to, say, not a second, uh, 15 degrees. Now, this should be. It should be a uh, factors of 90, because if you turn an object 90 degrees, oh, that's 90 degrees, so you're getting a square. If I turn it, say, 15 degrees, oh, let's start from zero so you can see it there. 15 degrees, 30, 45, copy that. Change that to one so it doesn't go all whack. Yep. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is you can select both of those. What you can do is you can hit one and use control, hit the other, and you select the other. Go down. There's a pretty nice hexagon. Now select all these with the control thing I just showed you. And just actually a lot better if I just group this. So now I'll just, if you want to make a tower out of that, you just get a bunch of these and pile them up. Etc, etc, you see what I mean, right? Pile them up, make a nice tower, recolor them maybe. Actually, you probably go like this. Make another layer before you do. Then that layer will go on top of this one. And you'll get more of a natural brick pattern, kind of like this. See if you, say if this is another layer, you just put that on top of there. So you get that natural brick pattern, it doesn't look so bad. And we'll copy together. Yeah. And, uh, that's more or less it for bricks. Uh, some later videos will include arches, roofs, wood, furniture, windows, doors, vignettes, things like that. But I probably won't do the vignette episode. I'll probably get someone like Aizan to do it. He likes those things. <coughs> Who knows why? And, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.